In this video I'm showing how I resolved an issue with my Samsung Galaxy S7 where whenever I would use the USB cable to connect the phone to either my Windows 10 or Windows 7 computers it wasn't being recognized. The phone would show that it had a power connection and it would start charging but I would never actually get that pop-up in Windows that allows you to copy pictures or videos from the phone to your computer and I went kind of crazy trying different things on the internet such as going into the settings, going to about phone, scrolling down to the build number, clicking on it seven times to turn on developer mode, and then opening up the developer options, and scrolling down to USB configuration and making sure it was turned on to MTP instead of just charge this phone. But all of these settings were configured correctly and my phone for some reason was still not being recognized by my computer, and the root cause of this issue turned out to be the USB cable itself. So if you're having the same issue, I would suggest that before trying anything else, you just swap out a different USB cable and see if that works. The reason for this is that the way USB works is it has four wires, Two of them are for power, and then the other two are for data. In the case of a USB power only cable, it will have the 5 volt and the ground, but it does not have the D plus and D minus wires that are required for data transfer. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a good way to distinguish a USB cable as being power only versus power and data. I did find one post on Stack Exchange where somebody said it might be marked with a dash 2 because it only has two conductors, but both of my cables were completely blank and had no markings, so I had no luck with that. But that's kind of more explanation than you really need to solve this problem. So long story short, if your phone's not being recognized, the best thing to do is to just try a different USB cable. And if you don't have one, buy one off of Amazon that says that it does power plus data. So that's it for this video. I hope this information was helpful. If anybody else out there is struggling like I was to get your phone connected to your computer over USB, hit the like button if this video was helpful. And thanks for viewing.